The green plate is the Eurasian plate. Uh, the yellow plate is the Arabian plate. And uh, the salmon colored uh, plate is the African plate. And so what we've got going on here is in some cases, we've got uh, arrows separating from each other as we do with the Arabian plate and the African plate. So we have separation happening here for sure. But the salmon colored is colliding with the green colored. So we definitely have plate convergence as well. Further, the yellow plate's also colliding with the green plate. Uh, so we have a head-on collision there. And so we also have plate collision there. And so we have arrows uh, that should be on this map. Uh, I didn't make the map. Uh, that should be there uh, coming into each other uh, in those particular areas I mentioned. Now let's take a look at some of these plate boundaries. And so the red line, the solid red line that we see is a convergent plate boundary. Uh, this uh, teal uh, kind of dashed line uh, that we see in the Red Sea and over there, the kind of the right-hand side of the picture, that is a, a divergent plate boundary. So that's where we're going to have plate separation occurring. And I tried to further emphasize that using those yellow arrows. Now let's get really excited and take a look at some of these plate tectonic collisions, starting with the Atlas Mountains, where we have the Eurasian plate colliding with the African plate. And what do you know? Along that plate boundary, so in a kind of a very similar shape, uh, kind of parallel to that red line I showed beforehand is the Atlas Mountains. So Atlas Mountains is where we see uh, one of the famous countries in this, in this particular area is the country of Morocco. We can see just across uh, from the Mediterranean from Spain in the Iberian Peninsula and Europe. Now let's go to where we have more plate collision boundaries over here where we have the Eurasian plate colliding with the Arabian plate we should expect along this plate convergence boundary, this red line, we should expect to find a mountain range running parallel to it. And what do you know we do? The Zagros mountain range. The Zagros mountain range goes right along this, plate, uh, this uh, collision between the Arabian plate on one side and the Eurasian plate on the other side. Next up, we have divergent plate boundaries. And so those that teal dashed line is trying to represent areas where we have separation. So essentially, the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden are essentially have been formed rather recently by separation. So these plates are separating from each other. Actually, very linear looking features. I mean, you can kind of see that these shapes quite clearly. The Red Sea, how it kind of has this very thin, narrow strip, and the Gulf of Aden is also kind of thin and, and thin and narrow. It's just essentially that uh, right there along that, uh, that, that, that teal line is where the plates are separating. The land masses are separating what's coming in to then fill that gap, the oceans waterways and so thus these are becoming seas or gulfs or whatever and so these are actually like i said relatively new waterways but they're only going to get bigger and bigger over time as the plates these divergent plates continue to separate farther and farther from each other but even further we've got a transform fault boundary and so if we look at this particular if we zoom in i've already mentioned the blue line the solid blue line which is the separation the diversion plate boundary that goes right through the red sea and continues up uh, we also have the the solid red line i already mentioned that the convergent plate boundary but this black blue dash line in this case this plate boundary is actually representative of a transform fault now you can also have plates that are sliding by each other even when they're going the same direction just think about a highway. Think about the person that's 90 years old in which their turn signal's been blinking since 1932, that's sitting there in their right-hand lane, and then you've got the person who's 18 years old texting and driving, going at 100 miles per hour in the left-hand lane. They're going the same direction, obviously one going faster than the other. And so the same thing going on here. So we have two different sides of this plate boundary one moving faster than the other. So if we go ahead, where do, where might this area be? This is actually where Israel is. And so Israel is actually kind of getting separated and it's gonna slowly but surely move at a different rate and get kind of uh, uh, moved past uh, from much of the rest of the Middle East. And so imagine that, uh, the Middle East and Israel, which is kind of a splintered relationship, well, I'll give a few million years and it'll be completely split up in a completely different situation in which they might not even be connected at all because of plate tectonics. How cool is that?
And here I have an aerial photograph that shows uh, that along that yellow line, you can kind of see that transform fault boundary. And so on the left side of that yellow dashed line, uh, the plate is moving slower. It's going the same direction. It's going north. It's going up. Uh, but on the right side, it's moving faster.